Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bluestacks 3. This is one of the best Android emulators you can get for a PC. I must admit it is really really good and it's easy to use which makes it even better and as you can see just in this image here at the top it supports hundreds of games making life a lot easier and not having to mess around getting games to work. If I just scroll down for a second you can see the new features they've added to Bluestacks 3. You've got your App Center here. App Center allows you to find the newest and most popular games being played by other gamers. When you click on the game, you'll be able to find refuse images and blah blah blah. Anyway, let's scroll down a bit more. You've got Gift Center. Bluestacks has partnered up with today's top developers to give you in game gifts and promotions you can find anywhere else. That's, that's really cool, that. Also, we got Bluestacks Select is our developer focused program as more developers like fun plus or igg join bluestack select gamers get exclusive gifts content and other items directly from these game developers also it's got bluestacks friends use bluestacks free built-in chat app to interact with other gamers like never before which is really cool it's got its own little like new messaging service which means you can talk to all your friends and that and get them on Bluestacks with you. If we just scroll down a little bit more again, when you compare Bluestacks 3 to other Android emulators, Bluestacks 3 has the best performance and features. Which I must admit, I've tried out a few emulators now for Android and Bluestacks has got to be one of the best. It's got a multi-instance function as well. On your phone or other Android emulators, you can only use one app at a time and only one Google Play account. Bluestacks 3 has a feature called Multi Instance that lets you open multiple games and apps at the same time. As you can see in the image there, he's got four games open, which he's playing at the same time. That's really cool, that. That's a nice feature. Anyway, let's now click on the Download Bluestacks option. You can click it down the bottom, or if we scroll back to the top, you can click Download Bluestacks. Once you've clicked on that, you now need to go on to Save File, and the file will begin to download. Once that is finished downloading, you can now click on the Download button and open up the Setup file. And we're just going to hit Run. You now need to go on to Customize Installation. I always like to choose this option as I like to make sure it's not installing anything else, as some programs have a habit of doing that. You can here choose where you'd like the program to be installed. The C drive's absolutely fine, and we can now hit Install. Once that's finished installing, Bluestack should boot up and look a little bit like this. You can now go through the little welcome guide by pressing Next, and as you can see here, it tells you what does what. Here we got our key mapping. As you can see, it's saying to click down in the bottom right hand corner. If we go on to next again, while playing the game, you can use control and scroll to pinch and zoom. I'm not going to bore you and go through all this too much. And oh, that is it. There's only like four windows there anyway. If we just hit close now, and you can add your location on that's totally up to you I'm just gonna go agree and we're just gonna go yes now you need to log into your Google account and you just need to pop in your email and your password once you've signed in you'll get a list of options I'm gonna go ahead and deselect the backup your data and the rest I'm just gonna leave it as it is you can now press the down arrow and I'm going to deselect keep me up to date with news because I don't want to get any spam email. You can now press the right arrow and you can select your name for the device we're on. Right, once you've done all that, this is your main screen and as you can see there's lots of games on here which is absolutely great. All these games are 100% playable in Bluestacks. 
if we just click on this little app here, or game should I say, it will pop up with a window like this. You can go ahead and hit install and you can go accept. And as you can see, it's now downloading like it would on your mobile phone. And you can now hit open. You can now go to play, select a map, and there you go, that is it. That is how you get a Android game working on BlueStacks. It's as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.